section at 12.2, we're going to continue to talk about forces, and one of the forces that we are going to talk about is friction. Now, what is friction? Well, if you want to get an example of friction, put your hands together, like you're praying or giving yourself a high five, and start rubbing them together. Now, when you rub them together, you've probably done this before, what's generated is heat, right? Well, that heat's generated to friction. Well, what is causing that friction? Well, the definition of friction is it's a force that opposes the motion of an object that touches as they are moving past each other. So what happens is, even though, all right, even though uh, your, your hands are touching, they're resisting movement past one another. Your skin is resisting the ability to move, and you have to overcome that. Now think of another example. What's something that really resists moving? If I had, uh, what's a surface or uh, an object that really resists moving? You think about it, sandpaper, right? If you put an object on sandpaper, it takes a really hard time to move that sandpaper, or that object on sandpaper, because sandpaper has a high friction. There's a lot of force that you need to overcome to move an object on sandpaper. Likewise, what's an object that's very low in friction? So if something is very low in friction, it's going to be very easy to move on. You may be able to glide or slip on it, right? Ice. Ice is incredibly low in friction. So every object has a certain amount of friction. Some objects have higher amounts of friction than others, but everything, anytime it comes into contact, has friction. Now, there are four types of friction. We're going to focus just on a couple of these, but just so you're kind of aware of the terminology. Four types of friction. There's static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction, and fluid friction. Now, the one I want to spend a lot of time on is kind of sliding friction, and that's the force that opposes the direction as you're sliding it over a surface. So if a friend helps you move a heavy object, you have to overcome the friction on the floor. So if you've ever thought about, like, uh, let's see, something like moving a TV or an old TV and trying to slide it off the stand or on the ground or anything really heavy on the ground, to get that object moving, you have to overcome the friction. So sliding friction is really just the, our moving friction, all right? So there are we classify as four types of friction, and I'm going to pale scale that down to, to two. There's friction when an object is moving, such as sliding friction, and there's ob there's friction, and we're not going to worry about rolling friction. I want to talk about static friction, and that acts on objects that aren't moving. So our our sliding friction is friction that acts on objects that are moving. Our static friction is a force that acts on objects that are not moving. Static is the word for immobile or not moving. So I know I kind of said there's four types of friction. I really want us to focus on the two types of friction. And the two types of friction I want us to focus on are the sliding and static. So as you try to push a really heavy object across the floor, you may not be able to do it. Well, why won't you be able to do it? Because you're not going to be able to overcome the force of friction. Anytime you move an object, you have to overcome the force of friction. So if you can't overcome it, you aren't overcoming the force of friction. If you start moving an object, then you've overcome the force of friction. All right? The last kind of, this is different from friction, but it's a type of force that I want to talk about, and it's gravity. How does gravity affect objects? Well, remember, gravity is a force that acts between any two masses. Now, you guys think of gravity as something that acts between you and Earth. That's true, right? You jump, and the attraction between you and Earth pulls you back down to Earth. However, there, any time you have two masses, there's an attraction of gravity between them. It's just that the force of gravity is very weak, so you need to have a really, really, really large mass to have any effect, to see any effect. So, for example, when you are sitting in your chair watching this video right now, you and the chair are gravitationally attracted to one another. 
Now, why is the chair not so like orbiting around you or pulling you back down into the chair? Well, think of the mass of the objects. All right, your mass is like in the 10 to the second. All right, 100 kilograms, not even 100 kilograms. All right, and the chair is only like 10 kilograms. Now let's look at something like Earth. Earth has a mass of like 10 to the 30th kilograms. Earth is so large that it has the ability to draw you down into it. However, you and your chair are so small that the force of gravity is acting upon it, but it's so weak that you can't see it. Right? I'm not going to be able to throw a chair or a water bottle or a ball at you and have it orbit around you. Why? Because the masses are so small that the force of gravity is so small. So Earth's gravity acts downward towards the center of Earth because Earth is a large object. An upward force can counter the downward force of gravity. So it's possible on Earth to travel upward faster than it, gravity pulls you down. All right? And if you do that, you'll experience weightlessness. And remind me in class, uh, I'll probably try and see if I can find a video of what they call the vomit comet which is uh, the plane that they use to train astronauts for weightlessness. All right? So big things in 12.2, there's two types of friction that we're going to talk about, sliding and static. Sliding is friction when you're moving. Static is friction when you're in mobile or not moving. And then the force of gravity can exist between any two objects. You really only experience gravity when one of the objects has a large, large mass, such as planet Earth. So that concludes section 12.2. This is Mr. Clenert, and I am signing off. Mm -hmm.